I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to compare the Dell PowerEdge R640 with the EMC VX Rail E560. Let's get going. Hey, thanks for stopping by today to compare these two beautiful chassis right here. Do us a favor, if you find anything that helps in this video, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's go ahead and hop in. So today we're comparing, as I mentioned, the R640 by Dell with the VX Rail E560 by EMC. And since Dell and EMC are essentially the same company, there is some confusion between these chassis, so we would like to clear it up. That's what we're here to do today. So what is the difference? Well, originally, the VX Rail was set up to be a premium R640, essentially, that was set up and dedicated for VMware. It was an amazing VMware solution. Um, normally, when you know they come into us, it comes with a specific SD card and uh, a boss card, and basically the whole setup is perfect for VMware. That's what it was set up to do. But the hardware itself, when you look at it from a hardware perspective, this is an R640 10-bay chassis. It is literally built on the R640 10-bay chassis. It is the same heat sinks, the same motherboard, the same uh, RAID controllers, the same network daughter card, the same power supply. It is literally the R640 chassis. So essentially, what is the difference when you get back into the aftermarket? Well, now that the VMware is off of this because you're not getting the licenses and everything when you buy the, the hardware, it is essentially just an R640. So we're going to open them up here in a second, and we're going to show you them side by side. So you can literally compare the two of them to see this is an R640 chassis. The difference at the end of the day now is the pull-out tag in the front, the little plastic tag that, that you pull out, the service tag that'll show you, um, that'll say Dell PowerEdge. This one will say VxRel E560. That's it. The Even the software is going to be the same. The uh, the way that you would update the BIOS, the way that you would configure RAID, like everything is the same. So essentially what that means is that the VxRel, even though it was the premium one back in the day because it was set up for VMware, is actually now the deal because people don't fully understand that it is an R640 and they see that and they get a little bit nervous, but it's essentially the same thing. So if you know how to use Dell, this is Dell. It'll be all Dell software on the back end. All the difference will be will be the pullout tag. So to me right now, VX Rails is a great way to go, especially for you home lab guys that don't have to worry with any corporate paperwork of explaining that to a CTO uh, that, you know, might be, uh, you know, I want I want the Dell one, you know, uh, they're the same thing. So if you're at home and you're trying to save, um, you know, a few bucks, VX Rails is definitely the way to go because it is literally the Dell R640 chassis. So let's go ahead and pull them up. We'll do a nice little overview and we're going to lift the lids. We'll show them side by side. I'm going to grab my ESD gear first and we'll be right back. All right, have my ESD gear on. We're safe to handle equipment and work on the machine. So hey, let's start with a good guessing game. Which one is the E560 and which one is the R640? This isn't this isn't the Pepsi challenge here, okay? I'm, I'm teasing around here, but which one is it? I mean, I, I was really back here and I had to ask uh, Mason on our team because I was like, actually, which one is it? And I can't see from behind here with the uh, the service tags and he had to point out to me that this one is the VX rail and this one is the R640 But that's the point the hardware is the exact same the difference was that the E560 was set up to be a VMware solution on the R640 chassis, which is why that makes it such a good deal. So when you look at the tops right away, you can see, I mean, down to the stickers, the rivets, everything is the exact same. And we open it up, you're going to see the same thing as well. So let's see how well I can do two at once. So let's lift them up for the grand unveiling. All right. So now you can see side by side. Okay. Now, Technically, the one difference that might you know, scream at you right away is the, the blue cables over here. Now, those blue cables are NVMe cables because this R640 that I pulled right before the video happened to be already set up for NVMe and I was going to take the time to do everything out of it. But if I wanted to take these NVMe cables and throw them into the VX rails, we can. Okay, so uh, it just happened to be this one was already cabled for NVMe again. So that's the only difference that you're going to really see here because at the end of the day, the back planes are the same, the fans are the same, the air baffles, the heat sinks, the number of dim slots, the when you go back here to the uh, perk uh, mini mono, the uh, risers, the network daughter card, the power supplies, literally it's the R640 chassis, right? So everything is the exact same. And again, if I wanted to take the NVMe cables and throw them into the E560s, it'll work. 
So that is what we wanted to highlight today was they're the same chassis, all right? So on the aftermarket, if you're buying a used server and you're trying to figure out, well, should I you know, spend the extra money to get the R640 versus the VxRail E560? No, I mean, you really shouldn't. Now, you, you might be at a corporate company and the corporate, you know, the CTO is you're not going to hear this and say, oh, I don't, I don't want to know what the differences are. Well, and I get that. But if you're at home and this is a home lab guy or you're, you know, a data center that, you know, understands uh, the, the VxRail is the deal. That is, that is the whole point of this video is to let you know this is the deal right now. And on our website, uh, we'll pull it up here just right now. We're doing on our deals of the week page. Uh, a configuration right now where you can get one CPU that's going to be an Intel Gold 6138. So that's a 20-core processor with 64 gigs of RAM. It's going to have an HBA330, which isn't the best uh, RAID controller, to be honest, but that's what's in it right now, um, which is great for NVMe. But you can easily throw in an H. Uh, uh, 730, which is a, a an easy upgrade that isn't uh, going to break the bank, um, but and it's also going to come with a network daughter card to 1100 watt. I mean, it, it, it's such a great deal, and it's 449. So that's one of the things we definitely wanted to highlight is you can get a uh, steal of a deal. It's set up with only one heat sink because uh, it's the one CPU configuration, and it only has. Uh, five of the fans, it's going to be missing three. So if you wanted to upgrade in the future, you would basically just add three fans and throw in another heat sink. Uh, but again, it's a, a steal of the deal. It's one of our, our best deals that we're run, running right now. So if you check out our deals of the week, uh, you can see that. And that, again, was one of the reasons we wanted to highlight the difference between these that at the end of the day, it's just the pullout tab. We'll, we'll show you again the pullout tab. That's the difference. Hey, if you found this video helpful, do us a favor, click that like, smash that subscribe. And if you're looking for any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we would love the opportunity to earn your data center or earn your home labs business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by guys. Take care.